take 2019. Question number 4C. Read the question. Suppose the earning of individual are dependent on whether they are skilled and unskilled and their work experience over the years. Define the dummy variable. Take workers being unskilled as reference. So this is my dummy that has been defined here. And here I have written that worker is zero if unskilled because I need to take unskilled as the reference and one if skilled. Okay, so now I have gone ahead and I have formulated this regression model. So I have written earning as a function of worker and experience. This is what it required. Earning as a function of work experience, how many years of experience you have, which will be a continuous variable. And the type of worker, which will be a dummy variable. So this is what I have done here. I have written earning as a function of worker and experience. Now it says interpret the model. So what I can go ahead and do is if it is going to be a skilled worker, if it is going to be a skilled worker, instead of worker, I will go ahead and I will put that as one. So this is going to be beta naught plus beta 1 into 1 plus beta 2 experience plus UI. This will happen if it is a skilled worker. And if it is an unskilled worker, then I will put beta naught plus beta 1 into 0 plus beta 2 experience plus UI. So I will get beta naught plus beta 1 plus beta 2 experience and beta naught plus beta 2 experience. Clearly, we expect a skilled worker to get more salary than an unskilled worker. So, we can say that beta 1 will be greater than 0. It should be positive. Now, I have just tried to go ahead and plot this. So, I have taken earning here and experience here. For, exp uh, for unskilled worker, the base salary is beta naught. Right? When experience is 0, earning is beta naught. And for unskilled, uh, sorry, for um, unskilled worker, the base salary is beta naught. And for skilled worker, the base salary is beta naught plus beta 1. The base salary is beta naught plus beta 1. Try to see that beta 2 tells us that when there will be a change in experience, the change in earning will be on an average by beta 2 units. When experience will increase by one unit, earning will increase on an average by beta 2 units, right? And this equation tells us when experience will increase by one unit, then earning on an average will increase by beta 2 unit. So both show us that earning will increase by same units, by same amount when experience increases by one unit. So we can say that they have the same slope. They have the same slope, but they have different start salaries, right? Based on whether they are skilled or unskilled. Okay. Now it says assume an interaction between the skill and work experience. So I have now included an interaction dummy. And this interaction dummy is work into experience. So my model My model now becomes earning is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 W plus beta 2 experience plus beta 3 W into experience plus UI. Now try to see when I go ahead. So this W represents the type of worker. Worker can be 1 if skilled and 0 unskilled. Now when I have to write the equation of skill, I will put 1 here also and 1 here also. So I will go ahead and get beta naught plus beta 1 plus beta 2 experience plus beta 3 experience plus UI. When I will go ahead and I will club them together, this will give me beta naught plus beta 1 together, beta 2 plus beta 3 into experience plus UI. Now when I am talking about unskilled workers, so I will go ahead and put 0 unskilled here and 0 here. So I will get beta naught plus beta 2 experience plus UI 
This will be salary of unskilled. This will be salary of skilled. Now change, check that their base child salary has changed, but also the slope is different, right? And assuming that when there is increase in experience, a skilled worker will in see more increase in the wages, right? When experience increases by one unit, there will be more increase in wage of the skilled worker as compared to the wage of the unskilled worker. Just going ahead and assuming that we see that beta 3 should be greater than 0. So beta 2 plus beta 3 means that there is more increase in the earnings when there is increase in experience of a skilled worker as compared to an unskilled worker. So this is what I have gone ahead and plotted here. Now the base salary, when experience is zero, a skilled worker is achieving beta naught plus beta one, an unskilled worker is achieving beta naught. And the slopes are also different. This is more steeper. So it is beta two plus beta three. That means that if I talk about one unit increase in the experience, Right. If experience increases by the same one unit, right, then for an unskilled worker, salary will increase by this much. But for a skilled worker, salary will increase by more amount, right, because it is steeper. So this is for skilled worker and this is for unskilled worker. This is how you can go ahead and solve this question. Okay, but thank you.